Hands up if any of you actually call a bride these days. I'm gonna bet that most of you have not put your hand up. Well, let's talk about what we should be doing with our brides in today's show. Hello, good morning and welcome to Bridal Business TV. I'm your host, Dawn Rose. And today I wanna be talking about um, calling brides, about making a phone call because um, I know that over the past few years, the phone call has been something that most of us are not, uh, most of us avoid. Um, and I certainly know that I do. I avoid phone calls all the time. Um, there's always that awkward feeling, isn't there, of um, making a phone call and you're sort of thinking, oh my God, I'm really nervous. What is that? Why are we nervous about making a phone call? But it, it seems like a really easy thing to do. And if it was a, you know, a friend, I guess, or family member, then we kind of don't hesitate to pick up the phone and call them. Um, but I guess in other ways, people find um, phone calls a little bit of an inconvenience, right? It's like, oh, another call you know who's calling me now sort of thing because we all lead such busy lives so I wanted to talk about how we should be using though a phone call when it comes to booking a bride and here's the thing I, I don't believe in in ringing the bride continuously and, and chasing them up but I do think that we should be picking up the phone to call a bride when it comes to making a booking with them. So I wanna give you guys some ideas as to what you can say to a bride on the phone. In fact, I'm gonna give you, let me see, I'm gonna give you three, no, four questions to ask a bride. Now, um, inside of my program, we go into this in quite a lot of detail, um, and I've got some information for you guys coming up um, towards the end of the broadcast so that you guys can get more information about how to um, do this with brides as well. Um, I'm just checking that we are completely live, which I'm hoping that we we are. It seems to be just very quiet this morning. So, oh yes, okay, I can see my face, I think, in here. Oh, is this my phone not working or? Guys, just let me know in the comments that we are live and that you can hear me. Um, just making sure that we've got everything here. Let's see, what's going on? What's going on? Can I do this or no? Let's go to Pop this into the group, just making sure everyone can hear me. I think you guys can. You can hear me. Am I live? I'm live. Yay! Okay, I'm live. It's all good. <laughs> Welcome. Sorry, guys. Technical, technical stuff there. Just checking to make sure that um, we're all going okay. I think we're good. All right. So let's talk about making a phone call. Actually, booking brides in by making a phone call, and this is. This is the key. There is a se there is a sequence of events, okay? Um, and like I said, I go into this in more detail, and I'll, I'll have some more information for you guys um, at the end of today's show. But I go into more detail um, about this coming up. But when it comes to actually getting a bride to at least have a consultation with you, the best thing to do just to straight off is to try and get them on the phone. So what I wanna do is I wanna give you four questions then so that when you're on the phone, you don't become a bit flabbergasted and you don't really know what to say. Um, and certainly I think that you should structure these out. I think you should have some kind of a template in front of you, um, something where you can actually fill out the answers that she's giving you because the whole point of this call is to kind of 
um, explore and, and learn and, and get to understand more about your bride. Remember, the more that we know about our brides, the easier it is for us to offer them our services because they couldn't possibly turn them down because we have just met every single one of their needs. So when it comes to booking brides, when it comes to actually getting them to at least um, have a conversation with you, we need to learn to pick up the phone. And like I said, I know that can be something that people get worried about because they think, well, I don't want to be pressuring brides uh, into booking with me, but I can, I'm going to basically give you some ideas or questions to ask brides that doesn't sound too false, that doesn't sound like you are pressuring them into uh, booking, but I want to give you these ideas so that you feel more comfortable. And like I said, I think that you should definitely have yourself a script. There's probably, uh, the, well, there's, there is, I go into this in quite, quite a lot of detail of um, you know how to start the conversation, how to end a conversation, how to you know get them into the booking and everything. But what I want to share with you guys today is basically four kind of like icebreakers, okay? Four like icebreaking questions that you can ask a bride because let's face it, brides love to talk about their wedding. Like you're not ringing them up and asking them to talk about anything like abnormal you're basically asking the bride to talk about their wedding to you and like i said the more we know about their wedding the more we know about the bride the easier it is for us to say okay well you know here's what i've got that will <clears throat> meet your needs so i'm going to go into those four questions for you so that when you get a bride on the phone that you're able to kind of break the ice and ask um some questions that will not only um show the bride that you're interested in what they've got to say but it will also help you when it comes to actually then making a booking, okay? So let me get these questions up. So the first question that you're gonna ask your bride is what are the, who are the most, uh, who are the important people whose opinion matters to you and what do you want them to say about your look? Okay, so who are the important people that matter? What do you want them to say about your look? So here's the thing. We have um, a lot of people, our brides will come with a specific idea in mind for their hair and makeup. Thanks for the thumbs up, guys. Um, people will come, uh, please please say hi and, and tell me who you are this morning because um, my comments aren't coming up for some reason on my screen. So please, please let me know. I'll see if I can open it up in my... Um, my phone today um, but our brides are coming to us with a set expectation right they've got a set idea for their hair and makeup but what you will find is is that there is a lot of the times there's always a specific person that they want to please right there's someone that they're doing it for sometimes it's mum sometimes it's grandma grandma sometimes it's their in-laws so we need to the first question to ask the bride on the phone again is you know, who are your important people? If you, what do you want them to say about your look? So it's something that we can, um, it's another question that we can reiterate again at the trial, but if you've got it in front of you as to what you've discussed on the phone with her in the first place, you can kind of have an idea so that when you get to the trial, you can say, so we were talking about how, you know, mum wants you to look um, at your wedding, because obviously you said to me on the phone that she was the important one to you. Um, you know, I've, I've put to, I pulled together a few images, what do you think? Okay, so it's a really great way of um, discussing and, and talking about that with a bride. Hey, morning, Bethany, here we go. Now my comments are coming up. So I've got Renee here with me. Good morning, Renee. Let's see if I can add this to my broadcast. Yay, here we go. Hey, Renee, morning, doll. Hope you guys are well this morning. And Bethany, hey, Bethany, let me add you on as well. Morning guys, morning. Sorry, I, for some reason my comments weren't coming up there, but I can see now and I'm seeing that there's people coming into the broadcast. So I don't know whether Facebook was on a bit of a delay. All right, so back to my phone calls. So again, have this, have these written down somewhere, have them on a sheet of paper, but we want to be able, when we're phoning, when we're talking to brides on the phone, first question we can ask a bride, it's an icebreaker. Okay, so tell me who are the important people whose opinion matters to you and what do you want them to say about your look okay what do you want them to say about your look because that sometimes is more important than what they think especially if they are trying to please a grandma or a mother remember as well like that could be who's paying for um who's paying for the hair and makeup all right second question hey good morning Yvonne's here too hey morning girls hello lovely to see you all Awesome, awesome, awesome. Let me see, did I get you? Yeah, okay, I did you on. Um, okay, so second question, okay. What is a must-have when it comes to a hair, hair or makeup 
so or even the artist okay so you can say to him what's a must-have what do you have to have they might turn around and say I really have to incorporate a veil. That's that's a, an absolute you know deal breaker for me. I have to have a, a veil in my hair. Um, when it comes to my makeup, I really really want to have lashes. That's super important to me. Um, when it comes to the artist, they may say I I need someone to come to me because um, I've actually got my grandma. She can't travel, so I'm going to need an artist that can can come to me. She might say, okay, I've actually got people that um, I've got quite a few of my relatives that are coming they've got short hair and they really really want to be looked after as well at the wedding we've got a big place but i need somebody there to look after some mums grandmas aunties um, but they've all got really short hair so i need to make sure that somebody can do a really nice blow wave for them so make sure that you ask that what is a must have what are the essentials that they're looking for in their hair and makeup and then what are they looking for in an artist thanks for the for the thumbs up guys all right now question number three what is an absolute no? So you will find, um, and I know that with my, uh, sometimes with my natural brides, an absolute no for my natural brides was lashes sometimes. They were like, no, I, no, I'm definitely not having lashes. They look too fake or whatever. Now, most of the time you can add on um, a few of the little individual ones on the corner of their eyes and it blows them away and they're like oh my god it's so nice and they don't look and they don't look fake at all but you know I know with my natural brides sometimes that was an absolute no they're like no I'm definitely not having um uh, lashes that's just not me I, don't, I definitely don't want that so and, and natural brides can be difficult as well be like no I don't I don't like blush I hate I don't want all I don't want all my all blush done or I don't want to be all contoured so you've got to get this out of your brides and it's great to do that on the phone with them so kind of to get an idea of the type of bride that you're talking to so before you've even got them into your studio into your to do your trials etc ask them the questions okay I'll, go, I'll recap on these in just a sec. Okay, and then one of my other questions, my kind of fourth question, um, and like I said, if you guys are in my program, module six, guys, I go into this in a whole load of detail and I go into more questions. And in fact, I'm gonna announce it now. There's a few of you on today. If any of you are interested in learning more about this, um, for those of you in my program, you get automatic access, um, but you can, you can, you can um, do what I'm gonna tell you to do anyway, just so that you get reminded about it. But if you guys wanna type the word challenge, hopefully my uh, bridie, my messenger bot, she will uh, contact you and put you on the list because I'm gonna be doing a challenge in September. It's gonna be a 30 day challenge. And um, we're gonna be talking about how we literally take brides from um, the introduction to you right the way through to booking what we do with our website, what we do with our social media, what we do with our automation, um, how we talk to these brides. I'm gonna go through it in a big challenge. So if you guys are interested, type the word challenge in the uh, comment box anytime now from now on. It should, hopefully it works. Um, and if it doesn't, don't worry, I will message you back anyway, personally. Um, so. Renee, you're already in my program, so you, Renee, you'll get access to it too, but type the word challenge in anyway, because um, then I'll get the reminder across to you, but you'll hear from me very shortly as well. All right, let's go into this um, fourth thing. So we just did the first three. Okay, so, so another thing that's a great icebreaker for brides while you're on the phone is to ask them, have you been using Pinterest and Pinterest? And do you have a Pinterest board for your hair and makeup? Or even if they've got one for their wedding overall. Um, and, and then ask if you can take a look because while you're on the phone, you can log in if, you, if, you're, um, if you're able to, if you're on your, uh, maybe you're on your phone and on your computer at the same time. If you're able to log in to your um, Pinterest account at the same time, you can have a quick Kind of flick through their pinterest account most brides these days have got a pinterest board i have always set brides up with a pinterest board in the past in fact i used to set it up for them because pinterest at the time when i was doing wedding after wedding was so new um that most people were like oh i don't really know what pinterest is and then you introduce them to pinterest and then like you know that's their wedding set isn't it most brides will have a pinterest wedding as well as a normal wedding right 
So I feel like that when when I was doing it, like I used to have to set them up with, I used to say, oh, I'll set you up with a Pinterest board then and then we'll share the Pinterest board and then any f- ideas you've got for your hair and makeup, just chuck them on, you know, just pin them into this board and we can have a look. But these days, it's the other way around. So you can say to your brides, have you been using Pinterest and do you have a Pinterest board for your um hair and makeup and is it okay if you have a look and then if you can get to do that you can get to have a look at their pinterest board while you're on the phone with them what do we do wow this is lovely how what a lovely purchase you've got there oh i can see your taste this is amazing compliment those brides okay we want to get them to booking us so compliment them straight away you know what guys even if you're not that keen on their style just compliment them anyway because we can always talk to them about what they want and how they um and how you know the things that they like about it okay so I, I see you've got a lot of um i see you've pinned a lot of things here with that kind of low bun now remember we did talk about that your mast was going to be with uh you had to have a veil and obviously these ones don't have a veil so um just you know just bringing that to your attention maybe we could um maybe we could look at having the veil over the top of the chignon or maybe if you want to make it a little bit higher we could have it underneath something for you to think about so when you're talking to brides on the phone you're it's like a mini consult on the phone because the more you learn about the brides the easier it is for you then to turn them into a booking and i can tell you this i know that not many of us now these days make phone calls in which case um, we're doing something that nobody else around us is doing so therefore think outside the box i'm always saying to you guys just do things that if you want to stand out in this crowded industry do things that nobody else is doing and one of those things is to get um brides on the phone so i'm gonna get to your question in just a second Vaughn. um but let me just recap those three things are just moving my stuff down okay so my three icebreakers when you've got brides on the phone the three icebreakers are first of all ask her who are the important people and whose opinion matters to you? Your second one is what's a must have? What is it a must have when it comes to your hair and, and makeup or, or your hair and makeup artist? And then number three was what is an absolute no? What is it that they definitely don't want at all when it comes to their wedding look? Um, and then last of all, ask them if you can uh, check out their Pinterest board. Um, so those are my kind of ice breaking questions for you guys today. Let me just check what um, my questions are. Bethany, did the word challenge work? Did you get a message from my messenger bot? Just let me know. Did you do it as well, Renee? Just let me know. Hey, Charmaine, how are you going today? Morning. Hey, Charmaine, nice to see you, Dar. Um, okay, so let me get to everyone's question. How do you make a website? Is there anything out there having to pay ridiculous prices? to make a website okay so Yvonne their websites kind of vary um in websites vary in price I have always been a big fan of creating a website on Wix um on Wix.com because it probably is one of the cheaper platforms to build your website um having said that it, it really depends oh good that worked thanks bethany um it, it really depends though on um yeah how much what you know what your budget is and what you're bringing in the, the problem with a website is that we pay all this money out on a website and it doesn't do anything this is what i was talking about the other day that we have this website and then we've given people you know all these drop downs and these menus and everything and it's like well what is it that we actually want people to do? We want them to book, right? We want them to, to book. So really, a website is, I don't want to say it's unnecessary because I still believe that you need somewhere for your brides to go. But the traditional type of website with all the different pages and all the extras that you add in and the, and the page for your gallery and a page for your prices and then a page for your services, it's just, it's distracting your brides from the ultimate goal which is to make a booking so my theory is is that we need to streamline that and i'm going to talk i'm actually going to show you more about how we would do that on the challenge um next month um and i'll actually go through and build out a web page with you guys and when i say a, a web page i do mean a page um but yeah if on websites can be 
expensive what you need to be able to do is be able to make sure that your website justifies the 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 payment so in other words is your website leading every bride to a sale because if it is and your every time a bride hits your website they are basically within maybe seven days becoming a booking and it's um, a bridal party of four or five people, then you justify any amount that you spend really because even if you spend, you know, $150 a month on your wedding and yet every time a bride hit it, you would make a, you know, a bride, even a bride say once a month, one bride a month you booked in as a, you booked a bridal party one time a month, you paid, I'm just throwing numbers out here guys, but let's say you paid $150 a month, right, for your, um, for your website, but you know, you can guarantee that every time a bride hits it, or once a month, a bride's going to hit it, and they're going to become a booking, and that's going to make you, you know, $600, that's spending 150 to get 600 back. If you know that that's what's going to happen, you'd spend the 150. It's like I always tell you about Facebook ads. If you know that you can put a Facebook ad out and spend 100 dollars, and you're going to make a booking, at least one booking from it, you've got your money back. You can keep. I'd keep spending 100 dollars every day if somebody was going to give me 200 back for it. So you have to think about it. You have to change your mind of thinking about things as investments rather than expenses. If that makes sense. Um, sorry guys, is anyone listening to me say, are you, am I rambling? Does that make sense to everyone? So Yvonne's asking about, let me put Yvonne's question up. So Yvonne's asking about um, to making, making a website without having to pay ridiculous prices. And I agree, websites can cost a lot of money, but I also think that if you can justify that expense, so if you know that brides will hit your website, they request a code, and within seven days you've locked in a booking, that money, whatever you're paying for your website, as long as it's less, obviously, than um, the money you're getting back by booking in this bridal party, any amount that you spend is worth it because you're going to be making the money back. Now, of course, you've got other expenses on top of that which you need to, to factor in. But again, as long as it is, I'm spending 100 to get 200 back, it would just do it all the time. So, um, hey, Noling, welcome. Nice to see you too. Noling's saying yes, she gets it. All right, so, um, so, Wix.com is good, WordPress is good, Squarespace is good, um, there's ClickFunnels, which is really good. I am um, transferring a lot of things over to ClickFunnels at the moment, but that is a, a you know, a, a higher paid uh, service, but you can just do so much more with it. You can generate more income from it. But again, it's all about knowing that you're gonna put in, you know, like I said, you're gonna put in $10 and get 20 back. I mean, you know, it's just kind of a, it. it you have to work out the outcome before you work out whether it is an expense or not. Because if you're getting more back from it, it's not an expense, it's an investment. So you need to just think about um, think about it that way. All right, is everyone cool with my questions today? Did everyone write those questions down? Who are the important people? What's the must have? What's the absolute no? And check out, can I check out your Pinterest board? Those are my four questions for today's show. For those of you that want to know more about the challenge, which I am doing as of September, I was trying to get my webpage, uh, my sign up ready today, but um, instead I'm gonna be working on it today. So I'll probably have it released tomorrow and you guys can then sign up. Um, but you can type the word challenge in the comment box. Um, it should work even if you're on the replay. So hit the word challenge in the, in the comment box and I will notify you once I have got the page up and running for you guys to, uh, to join. But it's gonna be a 30 day challenge um, and I'm gonna give you my one page booking sequence as well within that. We're gonna go through it step by step. I'm gonna help you set it up. I'm gonna show you what to do on your website. I'm gonna show you how I do it. I'm gonna then show you, I'm gonna give you the scripts. It's basically gonna be a case if you can work alongside with me for 30 days. So if anyone's interested, type the word challenge in the comment box. All right, guys, well, I'm gonna head off. Um, I shall be back live again next week. Otherwise, um, you can catch me um, inside our private Facebook community. That's the Bridal Stylist community worldwide. Do feel free to share that with other colleagues and I shall catch you guys again live next week. All right, bye for now.